that we have no real voices for us speaking in Parliament. And in terms of the political establishment, they all uh, are tied to the market. And what is refreshing about a meeting like this is the fact that we have uh, working class people from various unions and organisations who have come together in order to give some kind of alternative uh, in terms of political representation for working people. Well, I think the reason that I'm standing and other people like me are standing is because I think we recognise, and we're the only coalition that does recognise, that what the EU stands for is what our own government stands for. It stands for the interests of big business. It stands for the interest of the big capitalists, the wealthy, the wealthy bankers, the financiers. And because it stands for those interests, it pursues the similar policies to our government, only on a European scale. It pursues the policies of privatisation. In Bristol, um, we have you know, the highest number of academies in, um, in the country, and that is not something to be proud of. We, you know, the private sector is now in our schools, and that is unbelievable, and it's wrong. It, we shouldn't be having the private sector in our schools. Our, our schools should be safe places for our children to grow and to be nourished and to, you know, become what they want to be without the pressures of, you know, some private business, you know, trying to make money out of that. Um, Breath of fresh air, which no to EU, yes to democracy, had brought this campaign, that we're actually having uh, open meetings that local people can attend in different cities up and down the country and where they can talk about politics again. I mean, it takes me back to when I was a kid uh, and my parents used to take me to Labour Party meetings, to meetings where you could meet the candidates and have arguments with them and there were criticisms and debate. And that's something that's been missing really uh, in Britain and in British politics for too long. We've got three main political parties that you couldn't get a cigarette paper between. The creation of what they refer to as a, a common security and defence identity has always been one of the crucial aims of the European Union, one of the the key parts of the project. Um, it was more honestly referred to once by an EU spokesperson as the creation of a European army to fight the resource wars of the 21st century. I think this has been a marvellous uh, united uh, campaign of left-wing organisations, but at the core of it, you know, the Society of Railway Servants that started the Labour Party 100 years ago have become the first national trade union to launch a national challenge against the establishment uh, parties. That is of historic uh, significance. And those of us who come from different traditions have worked in this campaign. Just look what we've achieved in the nine weeks we've been working together on this campaign. What could we achieve if we decide after this election, with about nine months to go to the general election, that we're going to carry on working together, carry on giving working class uh, people an independent and socialist alternative, perhaps we could start to stamp a bit of authority onto politics in this country. I think that's worth getting involved in. If you do, sign up at the end. Give us a name and address, a phone number, some way of keeping in touch. Thanks for listening, thanks for having me and thanks for coming.